Well, the PPA is a master's in public policy and administration. It's offered here at Sacramento State, and it's a little bit unusual in that it has both a policy side and an administration side. And most master's degrees are either a master's in public administration or a master's in public policy. And we made a conscious decision when we formed the program to try to do both. So it's a little bit longer than a usual master's program, requires a thesis, and uh, we're really proud of what the students are able to do at the end of the program. This is Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. Thank you for being here, talking about the College of Social Sciences and Interdisciplinary Studies. Thank you both. Two excellent master's degree students are joining us now. Please introduce yourself. I'm Tara Thorne. And? Brent Hauser. And Tara, tell us a little bit about Public Policy and Administration, one of our great great programs here at Sac State. Right, well, I think the program's really unique in that it really bridges both public policy and administration, something not a lot of programs do. And by doing that, they really give students a skill set that allows them to succeed in the public sector. Wow, and Brent, um, just give us some, a little bit of overview and your thoughts on PPA. Sure, I think what uh, Tara said is a great point. The variety in skills and uh, education that we receive, it blends technical components of economics with also how to be a leader in an organization, and that's really what I take from the program. All right, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, you're here on campus taking class with our wonderful professors, but tell us what you do um, as part of the program. You have internships and you work on side projects. What, Tara, what do you do? Yeah, so every student's required to do an internship. If they work in the public sector already, that internship is waived. So I work in the public sector. I actually work at Sac State running a program called Legischool, so. Want to talk a little bit about Legischool. What, this yeah. is so, so much fun. Yeah. What exactly uh, is this? We have high school students who write papers and get kind of delve into to policy and we're here at the Capitol and this is great that they're doing right. this. Right, yeah. I have the best job in the entire <laughs> world. Um, I get to work with high school students throughout the state, not just one classroom, and we provide civic education opportunities for the students. So whether that's an essay that they're writing or if it's a town hall where they get to talk to local lawmakers or state lawmakers, we really encourage them to dive into the topics and really try to understand them. Brent, we want to talk a little bit about what you do, um, you know, besides your studies, in addition to your studies, you have a job and it's in the, the public sector. What is that? Yes, yes, I'm currently a manager for the Office of Statewide Health Planning and Development. It's a health and human services agency for California. And what we're tasked with is pretty much implementing uh, the Affordable Care Act, which as you may know, is a huge topic right now. Many people are aware of it, and we're actually on the front lines developing policies to implement healthcare workforce shortages, so getting doctors, serving people in underserved communities. So I'm really focused on taking what I learned in the classroom and applying it to policies that will be developed for Californians. How serious is that issue uh, of affordable healthcare or workers for people in rural areas or, or poor people. It's very serious and what we do is very important so I'm glad to be a part of the program to be able to learn these tools to make sure that we're implementing effective policies because the healthcare workforce shortage with the influx of individuals with insurance, that means there's more people, more providers that need to serve them. So we do need to address this in a culturally responsive way so it's not just uh, one type of provider as there's different needs that uh, Californians need to be addressed want to talk about um, professors and your faculty and just give us sort of a, a thought about um, working with, with professors here. For me, they've just really been incredible. Um, they're a touchstone not just in the classroom but also outside the classroom. I'm lucky enough to work down the hall from a lot of the professors <laughs> that I have class with. And so I really rely on their wisdom, not just for what we're learning in the curriculum that we're covering, but also just in life. And I don't think I'd be where I am today without the help of the faculty in the program. And Brent? I think uh, obviously their great intelligence and experience in the public sector and the different policies, but they're very personable and approachable. Uh, in fact, they want us to come talk to them and really run different things by them, whether it's in the classroom or things that are going on in work. They're really there to advise us and educate us on more than one way than just uh, in the classroom. And that's uh, the great thing about the program is that everything's applicable to what you're doing in your workplace or life outside of it. So. We're truly fortunate to have uh, the faculty that we have and their expertise. And thank you both for um, being here and joining us today on Made at Sac State, because you're both Made at Sac State <laughs> in PPA. All right, thank you. Thank you both very much. Hi, I'm Ryan Cove. I'm a psychology major, and I'm Made at Sac State.
My name is Mari Tess and I graduated with a degree in Ethnic Studies and I made at Sac State. For more information, visit our website 